Good morning from day 45 on my 2024 AT journey. We are at the summit from Mount Mist. It was like a 700 foot climb right out of camp. Some days I prefer to have a climb out of camp. Today was not one of those days. I am driving the struggle bus. I can't even say it. Struggle bus today. It is feels like it's like 300% humidity. It's humid. Very and my, humid. my legs aren't working at all. And we've got almost 6,000 feet of climbing to do today. And 18 miles. Whose idea was this? <laughs> Alright guys. Change of plans. And this is an exciting change of plans for me. Um, we have decided to only hike four and a half more miles. You've decided. Well, I shouldn't say we. I've decided. Jordan was supported with whatever I wanted to do. I've decided to hike four and a half more miles down in New Hampshire Route 25A, which is exciting for two reasons. Uh, first reason being, I'm pretty sure I have a picture of my grandpa standing in front of an AT like trail sign from what I guess is like the 80s, early 80s maybe. And I've pinpointed it to hopefully this road crossing, 25A. So I'm hopeful that either the same sign will be there um, or like a very similar sign and I can recreate that photo. Um, that'd be cool, which we were gonna get here no matter what today anyway, but we're gonna be ending our hike here today. Um, a while back, I said that one of my near-term goals was to just finish the whites. Um, and as of about half a mile ago, I did that. <laughs> I'm now officially out of the White Mountains. Um, and I'm definitely not done with the trail. So like, I just want to preface this by saying that, but I do think I need a break um, after the whites to recollect my thoughts and just take a break at home for a few days only and uh, kind of get back in the right mental headspace because after the whites, yeah, the trail gets <laughs> easy. It's not a myth, a myth. And I don't wanna say easy. It's not easy, you're still climbing. But like the, the trail itself is just smoother, less rocks, less roots. And obviously I'm done with my 4,000 footers now. And I'm a little bit worried about getting bored um, given I don't have the challenge of the terrain like I did in southern Maine in the whites um, so I think this break will be good to get home and just like take a break from trail uh, see my puppies spend some time at home and with Jordan and uh, he's gonna be bringing me back to trail uh, here where I get off at 25A um, on how many days from now is that? Like five days? Yeah. Five days from when I get home. Cause we're gonna stay the night tonight back at the Old Colony Ski Club, um, which makes me super excited to get to go back there and show Jordan the ski club in North Woodstock. Um, so we're not gonna go home until tomorrow. So I'll be home for like four and a half days. Then on the fifth day, He's gonna be bringing me back here, um, hiking with me Saturday, Sunday. Um, I think the break will do me good. And then I'm gonna continue on, hopefully, um, for no another big long push from um, 25A here in New Hampshire, down to Delaware Water Gap would be my next um, objective before I go home and reevaluate. But as I've said multiple times, my plans are fluid. I don't have any long-term expectations of getting to Georgia. I'm just out here until I'm not 
enjoying it or until it doesn't feel right for me. And if that means taking some breaks here and there at home um, to get me through, then that's what I'm gonna do. So that's what we're doing today slash tomorrow. And uh, I will check in with you probably at 25A, hopefully that sign is there. And uh, I'm excited for the ski club tonight, some good food, um, and just hanging out with Whip Snake. <laughs> See ya. As I was coming out here, I'm like, I think I've been here before. All right, so I am at the Old Colony Ski Club. Um, Jen came and picked us up at Route 25A, where we also had some trail magic, by the way. I didn't film because the gentleman doing the trail magic, I don't think he wanted to be known. Um, so we had um, Pepsis and he made us ham and cheese sandwiches with mustard and a whole handful of barbecue potato chips. He had donuts, he had Snickers bars. It was amazing. So we sat and had that. It was like 10.30 in the morning, but it was a welcome um, snack. And then Jen came and picked us up and we came back to the Old Colony Ski Club uh, where we are now in our own little like private bunk room. And um, Wayne's sausage melts in your mouth. Uh, <laughs> Wayne's is the gas station in Delhi um, next door to the hostel that is delicious. And these are our loaner clothes. We have matching Wayne's shirts. Well, not matching, but like brother, sister. Mine says, what's Wayne smoking? Yeah. Yeah. Um, on the back. But anyway, we went to lunch. We went to the brewery where I was at the other day had some barbecue and then we got ice cream and then we went shopping to get some toys for the dogs uh, so that I don't come home empty-handed to them and um, now we're gonna go downstairs hang out drink some beers and we're gonna go to dinner later um, but yeah I'm still happy with my decision to go home and rest for a couple days and reset um, still planning on coming back Saturday and I've come up with a whole like plan for the next like two months um, that is going to get me a good amount of miles still done on trail. Um, I've said it before in other videos, but just in case you're new here and this is your first video, it was never my intention or like absolute goal to get to Georgia and do this trails with through hike. So just putting that out there that moving forward, like you might be wondering if I'm still going to go to Georgia. And I just want to say that was never the um, ultimate goal. I'm just out here having fun and enjoying it and we'll be on trail as long as feels right. So. Um, I am coming back and uh, there's going to be a pause in videos, but we'll be back up and running in probably like a week or so. So be on the lookout. See ya.